Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to discuss how to easily lose five pounds. Yes, that's right. I know some of you may look at me and think, oh, Beth is probably just totally disciplined or she's just naturally thin, but it could not be further from the truth. I will link my video below called The Hunger Monster, and that really explains that inside this kind of thin looking person is probably a 300 pounder waiting to escape. And I am not kidding. My food issues go back to my early childhood. I used to say in my teenage years, why would anyone kill themselves when you could eat? Now, <laughs> I didn't realize that at the time, but that's a pretty sick way of thinking. That food is wonderful enough to be a reason for us to live, but that is really my thoughts about food. And as many of you know, I have shared about my addictive kind of tendencies. That's why I quit drinking wine 19 years ago because I thought it was becoming a problem for me. And that's really why I largely avoid carbohydrates in my diet. Well, you can't avoid them because carbohydrates are in everything. They're in fruits and vegetables and good healthy things, as well as cakes, pies, and cookies, which are the not so healthy things. But generally, when I stay more low carb, not only do I keep my weight low, but I totally banish those horrible food cravings. And believe me, I have them. Now, before I get into the specifics of what I did, I want to tell you a brief bit about my history. And that is that I struggled with my weight for many, many years and I struggled with terrible food cravings. And then I got arthritis and it was diagnosed as rheumatoid arthritis. That's a long story and I tried many, many things to get rid of my arthritis and now I'm usually totally pain-free, which is wonderful and I don't take any medications at all. But maybe about three years ago, I had been a vegetarian for the past four to five years and vegetarianism is very high carb because you eat a lot of tortillas and rice and beans, which are all very high carb foods. And as a result of that, while I was on that diet, I was really craving food a lot, but my arthritis pain, while it had gotten better through some other things I had done, I still had about 20% of my arthritis pain left and my arthritis pain was all over my body. It was rheumatoid, so I always wrestled with really feelings of tight inflamed joints. And at about that point, I read about the paleo autoimmune diet, which is a very low carb diet that is known to be anti-inflammatory. And I won't go through all the specifics of that because that information is in my food monster video, which is linked below. But suffice it to say, although it was tough to go from vegetarianism to eating a lot of meat, I did that and my arthritis pain was totally gone. And for the first six months of that diet, I felt wonderful. I did not cheat on that diet at all. I had no food cravings. I was eating pretty much what I wanted to eat as long as it wasn't cakes, pies, cookies, rice, that kind of thing. Well, to make a long story short, after the first six months, I realized that I could cheat on the paleo autoimmune. And so I started kind of cheating every now and then and my joint pain was not coming back. But as I started to cheat more and more and more, my food cravings started to come back. And fast forward to this past Halloween, Halloween of 2018, and this is what faced me. And here it is, the dreaded bowl of Halloween candy. And of course, I got all of my favorites, which were Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Almond Joys, and I had at them. And some of you may say, oh, I was so terrible. I had two little candy bars. I probably had 15 to 20 little candy bars that night and I realized that my eating was totally out of control and that I really needed to go back to low carb eating. And what I did was that I did a little research and decided to go on the keto diet and I'll explain how you do that in just a few moments. But here is my weight on November 1st. And as you can see on November 1, I weighed 126 and a half pounds, almost 127 pounds. And I really like to be around 122, 123 because at 126, 127, my jeans are getting tight and I've got a little roll around my belly and I just don't feel comfortable. And I went on that diet and here is the scale on November 14th, just two weeks later. So in those two weeks, I had lost five pounds. I felt great. I had no more food cravings. So it only took me two weeks to lose those five pounds. My jeans started fitting better. I started feeling better. I did not have joint pain. I just felt wonderful. And the keto diet is a very popular diet right now. You can look it up on YouTube. A lot of women are losing a lot of weight on the keto diet, but I really feel that it addresses an underlying problem that I had my whole life that I wasn't particularly aware of. And that is that I think some of us are very sensitive to excess carbohydrates. In other words, in the face of, you know, a package of Oreo cookies, some people can just have one or two cookies and close the bag. Well, unfortunately, I am not like that. 
And if you, like me, feel that you're sensitive to carbohydrates, you could easily go through half of the bag of Oreos and maybe even still want more. So if that describes you as it does me, then I'll tell you what I did to lose the five pounds and it was very easy and effortless and I think you might like the keto diet as well. Okay, here are the things that you eat on the keto diet. You can have fats, kind of unlimited. You can have any types of meat you want. You can have fish, seafood, eggs, cheese, and vegetables that grow above the ground. So that is a basic list of the types of food you can eat on the keto diet. And although they don't want you to totally gorge yourself, you really can kind of eat until you're full on all of those foods and not count calories and not worry about things too much. Now here is a list of foods to avoid on the keto diet. These are things like high sugar fruits like bananas, potatoes, pasta, beer certainly, rice, either white or brown rice, you gotta avoid all rice, avoid all breads, donuts, chocolate bars, candy, and soda and juice. All of those things are very high sugar, very high carbohydrate, and you have to avoid them totally on the keto diet. And in addition to three meals a day, you can also have snacks on the keto diet. And here's a look at some of the acceptable foods there. Here's a list of the whole snack foods, things like eggs, cheese, cold cuts, avocados, which are wonderful, olives of all types, macadamia nuts, pecans, and Brazil nuts. And you can also have things like veggies and dip. And here's a look at the acceptable veggies. You can have celery, cucumbers, green peppers, cauliflower, that kind of thing, carrots. And you can dip your vegetables in sour cream based dips or in cream cheese. And in terms of desserts, one of my favorite desserts on the keto diet is berries and cream. And you can use 100% full fat whipping cream. You just whip that up with a little bit of stevia and a teaspoon of vanilla and you get great whipping cream and then you can use any of these low carb berries. And so that is a wonderful dessert. And I will say that in addition to the berries, there are also recipes online for keto based ice creams. And I got myself a Cuisinart ice cream maker and I've been making keto friendly ice creams. And I will say they are not as good as normal ice cream. The pictures were very deceiving and I was a little bit disappointed, but it is nice to be able to have something that resembles ice cream on the keto diet. And if you have had success on the keto diet or any tips you'd like to share, I hope you'll share them in the comments section below. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my future videos. And please give my video a thumbs up too, as that helps me. Well, that was a look at the foods that I enjoyed and avoided on the keto diet. And if you have tips on the keto diet or other ways in which you easily lose five pounds every time you need to, then I hope you'll share that information in the comments section below. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell that will just notify you of my future videos and give me a thumbs up would be awesome too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. I've been using these Melody Beatty cards called The Language of Letting Go. And as those of you who have been around my channel for a while know, I have a hard time letting go, especially when it concerns my children and their happiness. And my children are not like nine and 10. My children are 30 and 35. So it's time for me to let go. I need this language of letting go to help them live their own lives. Living through problems. Living through problems. Love this card. Today I will go on living my life and tending to my routines. I will decide as often as I need to, to stop obsessing about whatever is bothering me. If I don't feel like letting go of something, I will act as if I've let it go until my feelings match my behavior. Friends, I absolutely love this card and we're right in the middle of Christmas festivities here. We just came off the weekend before Christmas and had some family activities, which were wonderful. We're doing some Christmas Eve things tonight and all day tomorrow we'll be doing some family get together things. And that is a good time to kind of let things bother you in terms of, you know, little family issues and that kind of thing. But I've decided that I'm just going to do what this card says. And even if I don't feel like letting something go, I'm going to act as if I've let it go and just have a wonderful Christmas Eve, a wonderful Christmas day, and a fabulous second half. Take care. See you next time.